Hey socialites, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Ariel. I create mostly beauty videos, a little bit of fashion, as well as lifestyle vlogs. So be sure to hit the subscribe button so you too can become a socialite. So today's gonna be another makeup tutorial, but I'll also be reviewing the new Ultimate Setting Powder from One Size. This one's the Ultra Pink color. Seems like everybody has been reviewing it and buying it. So I definitely wanted to get my hands on it to show you guys how it looks on me and my thoughts. It's just really giving elevated, but it's super subtle. I love those type of products. So yeah, if you want to get into how I got this look using the new ultimate pink color from the one size powder, then keep on watching. Okay, socialites. So I'm going to start off by priming my face using the blur drops from Glow Recipe. This has become one of my favorite primers. I do like the fact that it's sort of, not sort of, but that it definitely blurs your pores. It sort of shrinks them up. And I had started using it as skincare, you guys. Even though it's already skincare, I have been using it pretty much as just a primer. But the socialites were telling me that it's just good to use to help shrink pores over time and I've been seeing a visible difference so I'm liking this just to put on like as a serum after my toner and then I'll go over this with uh, my moisturizer so I've been enjoying it both ways it also helps with the longevity of my makeup a little bit as well for foundation I'm going in with my Westman Atelier foundation stick you guys this is a very beautiful beautiful foundation gives you a gorgeous complexion and I'm gonna blend that with my Sephora brush this is the number 64 brush This foundation also doubles as a concealer. So on those spots that you feel like didn't cover, you can go back with just a little bit more of the formula and it will cover it. So you can definitely get full coverage from this. To highlight, I'm gonna use my Dior Forever Concealer. And blend with my Beauty Blender sponge. So now the star of the show, the ultimate setting powder from one size. This is the ultra pink. This powder has been going crazy on the internet. I love how when you take the top off, it sort of has a open and close lid on the actual products. It does have holes in here for the product to come out of. And if you guys know anything about loose powders, they can be kind of messy and all over the place. So I feel like this just helps to give it just that extra control. I I love how they added this. So I'm gonna pour a little bit and go in with a little puff. So you see that there. So I've used this powder a few times before. Um, I do have a YouTube short up comparing the pink powder to the regular Laura Mercier powder that I usually wear under my eyes. So I'll put the link to that short in the description box so you guys can kind of compare. It's really short, it's only like 30 seconds. So you guys can kind of see the difference. But today we're gonna do on both sides. I was pleasantly surprised at what an understated natural look you get with this pink powder I don't know what I expected <laughs> but it's given that I almost like this better you get you get an even more subtle look than you would you know with your regular translucent shades something about this pink it just gives it just just that added natural touch that we didn't know we needed I hadn't tried the powder anywhere else except under eyes so let's see what it looks like in other areas 
in our other highlighted areas. Let's try down the bridge of the nose. Our smile lines. So this looks pretty good. I wonder, <laughs> y'all, I wonder if I can set all over. Let's try at least one side to see what it's giving. I'm gonna just take a fluffy brush, y'all. I got this in a brush set years ago. Let's add, swirl it around in here and let's try just setting this whole side. not bad and I like the finish of the because this is my first time trying one size powders period I haven't even tried their regular translucent powder so I just like the overall finish of the powder period but I feel like the shade you could definitely set all over with this shade I do want to note that I am using a light hand on the rest of my face under eye I didn't really use a light hand so let's just set the rest of our face with it I'm gonna put a little bit of setting spray, my um, Airbrush Flawless Finish Spray from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna spray this all over before I move to the rest of my face. I'm gonna take my Absolute Pro Bronzer in the color Dark. For blush, I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury Chic to Chic blush. So on the upper part of the cheekbone, I'm gonna use the darker color, and towards the balls of my cheeks, I'm gonna go in with the lighter pink shade. For brows, I'm gonna use my Sephora Collection Brow Pencil. Clean up my brows with Best Skin Ever from Sephora Collection. I'm gonna use my NARS Orgasm Rising Palette and I'm gonna use this pink shade here on the lid and this deeper pink in the outer lid. For my crease color, I'm gonna use the Coffee Shop palette from Julia's Place. And I'm gonna go in with these two dark browns. For liner, I'm gonna use the Sephora Collection Liquid Liner. This one's in the color Chocolate. The new pencil from LA Girl. It smudged the same browns on the lower lash line. The Hella Thick Mascara from Fenty. So let's lightly touch up, finish in a sense, the under eye area. Usually when I set my under eye with the powder, I go back with a finishing powder. I'm gonna use the same one size pink powder. And with a clean brush, I'm just gonna tap the excess in. For lip liner, I'm gonna use Mahogany, the lip crayon from Haas Lab. With Interview from Huda Beauty. with my Dior Gloss. 
the powder is just so elevated but super subtle like it's not a huge difference compared to like the typical translucent powder that we probably usually use it's just it's something about it comment down below let me know what you think have you tried it yet every single thing that I use today will be linked down below in the description box so be sure to check that out if you're new here welcome I would love for you to come join the family go ahead and hit that subscribe button thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one Cause too fresh with the scars